Good morning everybody and a very warm welcome to you all on this Thursday the uh, no yes Thursday gosh it's incredible how we do uh, lose track of time so easily it's Thursday the 7th of May and it's lovely that you're able to join us for morning prayer so I hope this finds you all well as yet again we are here in the rectory garden with the bird song and you may have heard a little bit of the bin bin van going round as well a re reminder of our key workers and all that they do for us so we pause together O Lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise in your resurrection O Christ let heaven and earth rejoice alleluia Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, blessed be God for ever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has also come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our appointed psalm for today is Psalm 118. I will give thanks to you, for you have become my salvation. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord proclaim, His mercy endures forever. In my constraint, I called to the Lord, the Lord answered and set me free. The Lord is at my side. I will not fear. What can flesh do to me? With the Lord at my side as my saviour, I shall see the downfall of my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any confidence in flesh. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any confidence in princes. All the nations encompassed me, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. They hemmed me in, they hemmed me in on every side, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. They swarmed about like bees, they blazed like fire among thorns, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. 
Surely I was thrust to the brink, but the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Joyful shouts of salvation sound from the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does mighty deeds. The right hand of the Lord raises up. The right hand of the Lord does mighty deeds. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Come, O Lord, and save us, we pray. Come, Lord, send us now prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God. He has given us light. Link the pilgrims with cords right to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will thank you. You are my God and I will exalt you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. I will give thanks to you for you have become my salvation. Saving God. Open the gates of righteousness, that your pilgrim people may enter and be built into a living temple on the cornerstone of our salvation, Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our reading today is from Exodus chapter 34, verses 1 to 10, and then 27 to the end. The Lord said to Moses, Cut two tablets of stone, like the former ones, and I will write on the tablets the words that were on the former tablets which you broke. Be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning to Mount Sinai, and present yourself there to me on the top of the mountain. No one shall come up with you, and do not let anyone be seen throughout all the mountain, and do not let flocks or herds graze in front of that mountain. So Moses cut two tablets of stone, like the former ones, and he rose early in the morning and went up to Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tablets of stone. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name, the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, O God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for the thousandth generation, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin yet by no means clearing the guilty, but visiting the iniquity of the parents upon the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. And Moses quickly bowed his head towards the earth and worshipped. He said, If now I have found favour in your sight, O Lord, I pray, let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, Pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for your inheritance. He said, I hereby make a covenant before all your people. I will perform marvels. Such have not been performed in all the earth or in any nation, and all the people among whom you live shall see the work of the Lord, for it is an awesome thing that I will do with you. The Lord said to Moses, 
write these words. In accordance with these words, I have made a covenant with you and with Israel. He was there with the Lord for forty days and forty nights. He neither ate bread nor drank water, and he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Moses came down from Sinai as he came down from the mountain with the two tablets of the covenant in his hand. Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because he had been talking with God. When Aaron and all the Israelites saw Moses, the skin of his face was shining and they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called to them and Aaron and all the leaders of the congregation returned to him and Moses spoke with them. Afterwards, all the Israelites came near and he gave them in commandment all that the Lord had spoken with him on Mount Sinai. When Moses had finished speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But whenever Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he would take the veil off until he came out. And when he came out, he told the Israelites what he had been commanded. The Israelites would see the face of Moses, that the skin on his face was shining, and Moses would put the veil on his face again until he went in to speak with them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now for our canticle. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously, the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invisible strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. Our second reading this morning is taken from Luke, chapter 4, verses 1 to 13. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for forty days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing at all during those days, and when they were over, he was famished. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become a loaf of bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live by bread alone. Then the devil led him up and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said to him, To you I will give their glory and all this authority for it has been given over to me, and I give it to anyone I please. If you then will worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered him, It is written, Worship the Lord your God, and serve only him. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem, and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, Throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to protect you, and on their hands they will bear you up, 
so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished every test, he departed from him until an opportune time. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we say together, Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? And we say together the Benedictus. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. And now for our time of prayer together. So if we pray for the day that lies ahead and for the tasks that we may have at hand. So Heavenly Father, we lift this day to you. Any meetings that we may have on Zoom or Teams or any other of those video conferencing devices. Any phone calls that we've got lined up or for some hospital appointments that they may have. We pray that this day will go well. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And at this difficult time, we pray for the whole world and its needs. locally, wherever we may be, in the immediate needs for our nation, in decisions that they are making, conversations that governments are having with all sorts of various authorities and bodies, and for the wider world, and particularly for those places where there might not be a health system that can cope with the demands that are needed with this virus. And we remember the charities that are working throughout the world. Perhaps in a moment of quiet, we just name a charity that may be known to us, who provides food, support, 
and sustenance to so many. The places where there is famine. Locally, we pray for our food banks and the work that they're doing. Here in Canterbury, we continue to pray for Catching Lives and the work that they do to support our homeless. So you continue to provide meals, three meals a day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for our churches, wherever they may be. Here in Canterbury, we pray for our benefice, for our churches of St Dunstan, St Mildred's and St Peter's. Whether you go to church or not, it is a place that is normally open but temporarily closed, where one can find peace and sanctuary. We pray for Justin, our Archbishop, for Rose, our Bishop, for Joe, our Archdeacon, and for all those lay and ordain who are ministering to others at this time. We pray particularly for our chaplains in hospitals, schools, hospice, our ports and in our armed forces. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for all our key workers, giving thanks for the work that they do. And in a moment of quiet, we just pray for key workers known to us personally, those key workers in our congregations, and those key workers known only to God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we remember all those who are struggling in body, mind or spirit at this time. For those who specifically ask for prayer. For those known to us who've asked for prayer for today. For those who feel isolated and lonely. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we remember those who may have recently died or whose anniversary of death falls at this time. And we lift them to you, O Lord. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now our collect for today. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen may the risen christ grant us the joys of eternal life amen and the blessing of god almighty father son and holy spirit and be with you all and all those that you love and pray for for this day and always amen now just for a moment of bird song here in the garden Lovely that you could join us again this morning. Um, I will do morning prayer tomorrow um, with the VE Day celebrations. Um, there will be Compton at 7 o'clock tonight. Lovely to see you if you're able to make that. Otherwise, morning prayer tomorrow as part of our VE Day uh, 75th anniversary celebrations. Um, so may see you then. If not, whatever you're doing today, please keep safe, keep well, Keep connected and keep praying. God bless you all. Bye-bye for now. Bye.